right. In today's video, guys, we are heading over to Signature at Ellington. We have a new client that we're going to be meeting with and going over his aircraft with him. We've got Jenny in the car with me today. She's going to be um, going over and, and learning how I go kind of go over clients for the first time basis. And then we're going to be doing an exterior detail on this aircraft and um, we'll be able to hook him up with some bright work cleaning us. Unfortunately, you can blame me on this. I usually wipe the, uh, the bottoms of the engines down every mm -hmm. few days, but I haven't done it here for a while, so it is dirty. Both cowlings. Yeah, no problem. It's, I, mean, I think this one's in better shape than Oh, yeah. come on now. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yes, I mean, it. it's going to take a first a first real cleaning, really, mostly, and then anything. Again, so. on this side, but yeah. we got a little the streaking yeah. and the, the crap, the grease yeah. coming out of the... And uh, the APU blows it up on there yeah, all the time. Exactly. So, like... And that time, when we did, uh, did the, the heavy maintenance last mm -hmm. time, we were up in Conroe, they did it up at the, uh, the service center up there, mm -hmm. and they detailed it, but... They must not have ability to do this, so this is going to be kind of bad because yeah. that tail has not been touched for a while. Yeah. Okay. Are you okay with that? Free charge. Okay. So, yes. So we do have a lot of bugs all on the right work here. We do have a lot of streaking going on here from the plane sitting outside. If you can see that there, a lot of streaking going on here. That same thing on a gold stream not too long ago. It's like whatever was wiped here, sprayed wipe, kind of maybe etched a little bit. A lot of bugs on the radar dome there. So the last person that did this bright work, you should not be seeing this line right here. That's because they ran the rotary with a drum buffer down here. Did not finish it out with a cyclo afterwards. This is not finished out. This is still have holograms. And it gets worse as you get down here. Look at that. It's not how your right work should look. We're going to fix this today. So this guy is going to be our next PTG. This is going to be our paint depth gauge right here. So paint. Um, it's going to put on the surface here. We're going to be able to measure the paint depth right here. So we have 10.404 mils of paint on here. We're going to check multiple spots on this plane. 10.043 mils. 9.65 so you can see how much mills this plane has a lot of planes are always going to be single stage paint so this is always something that you're going to want to know uh, as far as the kind of paint that you're dealing with and how much paint you have to work with before you kind of go through those layers so we're not going to be doing a paint correction on this at this time 10.67.663 we're not going to be doing a paint correction on it this time but just for us to know for future knowledge when that time comes how much paint is on this plane on here put some new pads on here we're going to be polishing this bright work right here trying to finish this rotary marks that people left on here last time that they cleaned this it's going to be s on a cotton flannel towel
what I'm looking here is I'm looking to pick up the polish here, move it on the metal here, and darken it up. And when it gets all dark, nice and dark, then I'm going to rotate sides on this pad here to a clean area to pull the polish off the surface. of the surface here. So we do have these scratches that are still in here. A little bit less, but they are still right here in the surface here. So what we will do is we'll, we'll cut this with the drum buffer and then come back and hit this out with the S polish again and really finish this out. 